Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're going to be painting a metal gate. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. So this gate hasn't been painted in probably 10 years. And it's not in bad shape, actually. It's just a little uh, worn down, needs to be dressed up. I got some replacement dark brown paint, and we're going to do it to it. Now you can see on a previous paint job, there was some overspray, and on this pet mesh, it just coagulates in these holes and uh, causes a bit of a mess. So I'm going to poke all these out and respray it with just a rattle can paint. But I got to prep it first. So it's a good idea to get out a wire brush and get rid of all the flaky stuff first. Then you can get a green scuff pad or some fine sandpaper and hit down any lumps. So after you clean it, it's time to spray. I use a rubber glove, a respirator obviously, a cardboard shield and rattle can paint. Go side to side, always keeping the can moving. You want to hold the can about a foot away from the surface and it is important to always keep that can moving. You don't want to have paint beat up and have one section drip heavy with paint and then miss another section. The spray pattern coming out of the nozzle is kind of shaped like a football if you were to hold it uh, vertically. So by going side to side, you're gonna have a larger swath of paint hitting the surface. So, and if you go vertically, you're gonna have a lot of paint runs. So if you do need to go vertically, then just turn the can on its side and hope there's enough paint and pressure in the can to, to propel it. Otherwise, you'll need to get a new can By the way, I cut small notches in that cardboard just so it fits perfectly over the hinges on that gate so that I could spray the hinges and no paint would get on the wall. You'll wanna hit the surface from different angles so you get complete coverage, particularly with the ironwork and the decorations there. There's just so many curved surfaces that you need to hit it a couple different directions to get it all painted. And of course, you don't want to forget the gate hardware and latches. You can probably tell that if I hadn't put on a glove, my left hand would be completely covered with paint. Well, I hope that video helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.